Right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to show you guys a quick video on what the new Edge Transit is capable of. Now, obviously, a Cascade Point has been disabled, so currently, this is all we've got. We have Spike Grenades, Envious Assassin, Bait and Switch. Pretty good roll, if I do say so myself. Yeah, so today, I just wanted to take some time to show you guys what sort of damage you can hit with this weapon, how to sort of min-max it, so on and so on. So, as we know, this is a very good roll. This is the roll that people were chasing on the Cataphract all that time ago when it came out in Season for Witch and still were up to around three weeks ago, you know, before they announced this, which is obviously Spike Grenades, Invis Assassin, Bait and Switch. And, you know, ideally you'd want a Velocity Mask work and some nice launch perk like Hard Launch like I have. So I've kind of lucked out a little bit here, but <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, wait until we talk about luck uh, until later in the video. Yeah, so this is what I'm calling the level one god roll and you'll see why I'm calling it that for reasons that you'll see very shortly. But yeah, this was the previous roll that you could get on Cataphract and it was well sought after because Bait and Switch obviously very competitive damage perk. Envious Assassin is fantastic for sustained DPS. So why am I calling it the level one god roll? Well, if you've seen my previous video, you'll know that the drops that come from uh, Into the Light have a exclusive limited time version or as uh, or shiny as people are calling it now and I would just grab one real quick. So yeah as you can see this is a shiny LC's rifle. It has two perks in both of the trait columns which makes it more versatile for any sort of style of play and you could get some really nice sort of combinations that you can switch between depending on how you're feeling that day. Obviously this edge transit isn't the special edition because it doesn't have the perks on it. However if you remember from my previous video you'll know that you can also get cascade point in this column. So what you would do is you would start the encounter whenever you are with Envious Assassin, overflow the magazine to the max, and then when it's time for damage, you would swap to Cascade Point and then have a really, really high DPS weapon. And like I said, unfortunately, Cascade Point is disabled at the moment, so you won't be able to use it currently. Hopefully that will be fixed soon. But the biggest thing is that the chances of getting that roll of having Envious here, Bait and Switch here, Spike Grenades, a Mag Perk ideally, and a good launch and a good Masterwork, and having Cascade Point here are a abysmally low. The chances are so incredibly rare, especially given how infrequently you get the drops of the shiny versions. I would be amazed if I see anyone with that role and barely anyone I know. In fact, nobody that I know has got that role. Even if you were just looking at getting uh, the two perks here and bait and switch, the chances are still very, very low. I may even make a separate video about it, but yeah, just know that the chances are pretty low. And if you get a role just like this one, the normal version with spike envious bait, it's definitely, definitely good enough. But yeah, all this talk, how does it actually perform? Well, I've got a few clips uh, that I've done some damage on on Greg that I'm going to play now just so you can see. So I'll let the first one play now. This is a Izzy rotation with Father Sins to proc bait and switch and then we're just unloading the mag. So yeah, that rotation would take a little bit of practice and skill because you have to hit your Izzy crits and proc everything in order, doing the grenades at the right time to reload the GL and so on and so on. So, so now I'm just going to play something that's a little bit more approachable that includes Wither Horde and the Recluse. So literally a primary weapon to proc bait and switch with and Wither Horde is as simple as shoot once and swap off and wait for it to auto load. So yeah, you, you guys know the deal with Wither Horde. So yeah, I'll just play that clip now. So yeah, as you could see, 2.9 million versus 3.1 million is a very small difference, albeit that 3.1 could have been a little bit higher if I was able to hit the Izzy at the end, but it's it's a very, very easy rotation to do and it does a lot of damage. 3.1, like without any debuff, is one of the highest numbers that I have hit on Greg. The only thing that comes close is a 3.1 that I hit with a rocket, but that rocket had Wolfpack rounds. So basically, this grenade launcher is hitting the same damage as a rocket without Wolfpack rounds. And obviously, if we're talking about six-man raids, having Galahorn 
Gallahorn on the team is damage lost for the Gallahorn player. But now, if you can hit the same damage buffed by Wolfpack Rounds with a grenade launcher that doesn't require Wolfpack Rounds, you can have six people on that and you're doing more damage than if you had one Gallahorn and five other legendary rockets. Yeah, I guess now what's left to say is like, what would the ultimate god roll change? Now, what you need to understand is that yes, this god roll is good enough. You don't have to go and get the one with Cascade Point. The only thing that Cascade Point would change is the DPS. It would absolutely skyrocket the DPS because you're getting those first few shots off so extremely quickly, but it wouldn't change the total damage at all. You still have the same number of total shots, so your total damage would remain the same. It's just in situations where DPS is mandatory, and to be honest, off the top of my head, I can't really think of any where this would actually make a difference. Perhaps if you're looking at something like King's Fall, killing the War Priest without having to kill any of the Brand Claimer Knights, this would probably do the job because the War Priest has so much health and it's such a tight DPS window. But overall, I think you're very much good with this roll. And as you can see, the damage it puts out is very competitive. This is, it's also very easy to farm, as you know, because every chest that you open has a 50% chance of you getting it. So eventually, if you just play enough, you will come across this roll. Gone are the days of having to farm trials, painstakingly farming just so you can get a roll and have it not be the one that you want. This is definitely a lot nicer grind. In terms of what weapons to pair with it, of course, having Izzy is nice, uh, then some sort of void weapon. But as you saw, it doesn't really matter. I literally used Recluse in one of the clips to proc bait and switch, and I still did almost as much damage as if I had Izzy and a Father Sins. Once I get the roll, or if I find someone who has the roll, I will probably try and get a video out on that just so you can see like what it's like. For now, I just wanted to show you what it was like. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed guys, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Your support means the world. And if you're really into the content I create, consider becoming a member of the channel, which not only lets you support me in the best way possible, it also nets you a whole host of awesome perks along with it. A massive shout out to these members up on screen, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now, dear viewer.